finished up my golf trip and uh, a friend of mine wanted me to stop and see him so I stayed an extra day with him but he's at work right now so uh, one of the things I like to do is just get out there and explore you know you obviously your Google stuff and whatnot and then uh, Google Maps check the weather there's gonna be some clouds so I was hoping to get out here on the beach and get some type of uh, photo to take home but uh, when I looked at Google Maps the, uh, the, the satellite imagery it, the whole the beach here looks so developed. I mean, you always go out in your dunes, but uh, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm always just hoping to get that one photo I can just put on the wall or on my computer. Tell me, hey, what the hell is that? There's a lot of different uh, colors right here, but uh, smart me, I just stomped right through it and uh, pretty much destroyed everything. Uh, just different colors. So everything looks the same, but I'm coming up on something finally, if you can even see me here. But uh it has some lines, some, some definition. I think I think this is it. Actually, I can do somewhat of a long exposure, not too long. What do you think? If we're on the beach here, the weather conditions, I gotta I don't I don't really like taking my camera out here too much, but uh I like this. I like the lines, it kind of flows out to the right there. Yeah, so this has to be the worst part, just setting up, make sure you don't got sand, because this sand gets in everything. It's absolutely just ridiculous where, where you find this stuff. Kind of got to hurry up, there's some, uh, there's people coming, and I guarantee it, they'll be standing forever in my shot. Trying to protect it from the elements while my friends get out of my shot. So, we're just, uh, I had to really hurry up on this shot here. People were coming and I uh, had to frame it up, zoom it in, and I got the sun kind of coming out there. It's not really ideal. Put in a uh, graduate filter, and I turned it sideways because of the way the, uh, everything was sloped here. All right, so I just got a neat, uh, a neat uh, tip. Uh, I was watching some people walk on the uh, shoreline here, and they're looking for stuff. They got rakes. I'm like, well, what are you looking for? But apparently they're dredging out in the ocean a lot of stuff's coming in, like maybe shark teeth or uh, shells. And uh, they told me about some trees down the road here. They're kind of windblown. I guess it's going to bring some character to that. So that's my next stop. So do not be afraid to ask people. Just strike up a conversation. Be friendly with them. Smile. Act like you're having a good time. Even though it's like I just stepped in about a foot of sand up over my ankle. Yeah, so those trees, those people told me to photograph, were absolutely terrible. They had signs all around it. It was like the worst, worst type of photograph you'd ever have. But uh, uh, at least they tried. They gave me a, an idea of something. But uh, I don't know. You know, there's a lighthouse down here. It doesn't really look too promising. It's actually a modern lighthouse. There ain't nothing on this beach. I mean, it's a good summer beach to lay out, I guess, and do that jazz. But no photography. So I hiked clear out here to this lighthouse. And there's really not a good shot for it, for it, but we're gonna see how it, uh, come on, man, I can barely see it. You can actually see it right there. Somewhere right there. But uh, I'm gonna set up to where I can see some of the dunes. The clouds are nice. Actually, there's some fencing over here. Uh, and there's some really gnarly, gnarly clouds over there so I'm actually gonna get try to get some of this fence in with it it's coming together oh my god the Sun just come out all right well that's about it for this lighthouse I'm out of here <laughs> huh just tired from walking but uh I look at that thing from a different angle I'm like well this would be better this would be better but I'm not even really happy with it all together I don't even know why I took my camera out. But anyway, the big thing right now is to get home, clean my equipment up. Because this salt will absolutely destroy your cameras.